Describe how you two first met. So I was out with my guy friends. Yolanda was out with her girlfriends. Uh, we were at a club. We both went up to get a drink at the bar. Our eyes locked. Maybe our lips locked as well. And uh, the rest is history. What was your first official date? Hold on, let me make my hair look cute. Um, our first official date was the very next day after we met at uh, Oyster Boy. That's the first time I ever had oysters actually. And that's when I fell in love with the oysters and with Ilana. When you first met, who made the first move and how? So, honestly, that night was a, a bit of a drunken blur, and I'd probably be making up half of it uh, if I was to tell the story. But if I remember correctly, um, one of our friends actually was trying to pick up Yolana, and he was talking to her. Um, and so she stealthily and craftily uh, got away from him and approached me so I, I would say that she's the first one who made the first move um, but then I probably took over and made all the moves thereafter and she can tell you the rest of the story herself Okay, it's 10.45 p.m. and uh, the lights went out of the office, so I gotta call it a night. But I'll just do one more before I go. Uh, what is Yelena's biggest pet peeve? So, other than the cliche leaving the toilet seat up, it's probably when I don't give her enough attention. But it's also when I give her too much attention. Women. Do you think Ilana is sexiest in a sundress, jeans and a tank top, lingerie or pajamas? So I think this is a trick question. And if I choose only one from the list, I'm going to hear it from her later on. Um, and so I choose all of the above. But if I had to choose, I would say sundress, hands down. <clears throat> complete this sentence I knew I had found the love of my life when she blank so I'm going to modify that sentence a little bit I'm going to say I knew I had found the love of my life when I realized that we have been building an amazing life together and after a number of years of being together in a relationship, our love and, and passion and respect for one another, um, you know, just grows stronger uh, the more time passes. And so it was a no brainer to take a knee and uh, ask for her hand. And now here we are about to get married. Okay, next one is a hypothetical scenario. Uh, you've gone to Loblaws to pick up milk. On a whim, you decide to get Ilana a little surprise treat. What would that treat be? So first of all, I don't drink milk. I only drink almond milk. And that is because of Ilana's positive influence on my life uh, to essentially cut down on uh, animal products as much as possible. So thank you, Ilana. Um, but it's a no-brainer. I'd pick up a keto bar and a skinny pop popcorn. What is your favorite alcoholic drink? Um, so before we started dating, I would consider myself a beer drinker. Um, but over the course of our relationship, um, 
I developed a great liking to wine, and I would say that now I have a fairly well-refined palate. Um, and I guess that's because wine is Ilana's favorite drink, and you know, you just pick up the habits of the person you're with, as one does, and uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get in trouble for this one. Um, but to keep it PG, I'm gonna say her shoulders and her arms. Okay, now I'd like to give a serious answer to this one. Uh, what is your favorite body part of Ilana's? It's her butt. When did Ilana know she wanted to marry you? This one's easy. It's when I got my corporate commercial job at a Bay Street law firm and I showed her my, my compensation package. Um, and so naturally any woman would jump at the opportunity and want to marry this guy. Um, totally joking, of course. Um, so it's, it's hard to pin down the exact moments. Uh, Ilana and I always had a lot of passion in our relationship. We were always very attracted to one another, and so we had no issues in that department. Um, but in terms of when, uh, you know, Ilana went from just being attracted to me as her boyfriend and started to seriously consider me as the guy that she wanted to spend the rest of her life with, uh, that would probably be around the time um, that I first started to have serious discussions with her about having children and getting a house together. Um, you know, any, any girl with, with uh, good family values uh, would, would um, find that important and, and cherish that. Um, and so I think that's around the time that um, she, she had decided that she wanted to spend the rest of, of her life with me. Um, that's, that's when I truly got her. Who is the first to say, I'm sorry? Uh, of course it's me. I'm not an idiot because, you know, happy wife, happy life, so. Okay, what would you say you love most about Ilana? Um, so I absolutely love, love, love um, her smile and her laughter. Um, no matter what I'm going through in my life, whether I'm having a, sh a shitty day or a good day, um, it just, it's always something that picks me up and brightens up, brightens up my day. And, um, you know, seeing, seeing laughter or, or a smile on her face is just, you know, makes my heart flutter. Um, another thing, her sense of loyalty uh, to her her close friends and, and family is just absolutely uncanny. Um, her sense of humor is a big one as well. So pretty much all my exes were shitty in that department, but she's, Ilana is actually very, very funny. Um, and I love the fact that I can say that she's she is my best friend and actually mean it. We always you know we don't just have passion and and uh and love but we we actually get along as just two human beings we have we always have a lot to talk about we always um you know talk about each other's day at the end of, of the work day and, and um, um share you know what's what's going on in our lives and and um and, and that's special because uh, some many relationships are based on you know that initial passion and then and then uh, uh, you know that that spark wears out and, and you know you have nothing to talk about whereas Ilana and I are you know th 
three years and, and change and, and still going strong in, in, in that department. And we can call each other friends. And, and so that's that's absolutely amazing. And, and so I guess I can say that I love Five Petty Line as my friend.